What's up YouTube, it's your girl Dee Dee. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So I am back with another reaction video. Now this comes from a woman who is saying, this is the reason why a lot of black women are mad at black men. And I'll let her explain uh, why she believes that. But before we get into the video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, y'all know what it is. And definitely chime in in the comments. I wanna hear your thoughts on this one. So I'ma go ahead and play to you what she says about why black women are so mad at black men. Let's get into it. Here we go. The real reason why black women are so angry at black men is because they are really, really upset about not being wanted. On the other hand, black women know that these other races of women do want the black man. Puerto Rican men or Dominican men? Neither. Black. What race has the most attractive guys? I like black guys. Why? In bed, I prefer my men to be? Black. Black. <laughs> It's really, really, really heartbreaking when you think that nobody wants you, but everybody wants them. That's why they're really upset with you guys. How dare you guys be wanted by the other races? And how dare you guys want them back? How dare you actually get these women that want you? How dare you have multiple kids with these women that want you? How dare you not approach me so I can turn you down? That's really why these black women are so mad at you black men. Baby, listen. <laughs> what do you guys think about what she had to say? Definitely chime in in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on this one. It seems like a lot of our women do get in their feelings when they see black men with other races of women, even though they say they, 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 they don't care. They're dusties. Y'all can have them. But as soon as you see black men with other women, other races of women, they do kind of get in their feelings. This is what the whole passport bro movement was about where all of these women were making video after videos after video about men getting their passports and looking for suitable wives in other countries, they did not like it. I mean, they came out the woodworks with their bonnets on child, just really showing that they were really mad about it. Because if this didn't bother them, it would have been crickets. They were up in their feelings, honey. They were like, we don't want you. And they were like mad. Like they were coming out in droves, really angry and bitter looking and mad about it. I'm like, why are you so mad if y'all say they're so dusty? and you don't want them, why would it even concern you? I could care less if these men want to go travel overseas and find them a suitable wife. It doesn't bother me. It triggered a lot of these women, even though they didn't care. Because it's, it's like you will see uh, men, black men with other races of women, married, children, and all of this. And, and while when black women try to divest, even though you do see interracial relationships with black women and, and white men or different races of men, but it's not in droves. It's not a whole lot. But for the ones, this is why they always complain about, oh, well, as soon as he make it, girl, he go get him a white woman or whatever. No, it's it, it, because they make it seem like that's just what they've, they're, they're aiming to do. And that's what they've always aimed to do when that's just not the truth. Now, there are a lot of black men who dated uh, black women and the women, messed over them you know they weren't like a pookie and ray ray they didn't have swag and all that but they were good men and these women messed over them for pookies and ray rays and so these men have been you know treated dusty by a lot of black women they don't complain about it but i have heard stories of men talk about they've always wanted a black woman but the black women didn't want them so now that they've you know built themselves up and now they you know got their stuff together and so now they're only going where they are being wanted. So there are other women who would date a, a guy that black women would call a nerd, you know, or, or you know, he's nerdy or he he's this and that. When you were in your prime, he was too nerdy for you. But once, you know, you got in those forties, thirties and forties, and now he's established and other women will give him the time of day and treat him right. Now women are, are black women are like, Oh my God, all they do is go to a, No, you didn't want him. You didn't want to build with him. You didn't want to do anything with him. You were so consumed with the pookies and the, 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 the popular guys in, in high school and in college, the guys with the swag who had all the options and all the women, that's who you wanted to go after. You wanted, you wanted to be in this roster of women tagging behind this man because you are attracted to him and he's what you like physically, but he was no good for you. And the guy who would have been good for you and gave you what you needed and gave you the family and a life and all this that you want now, 
you looked over him. You didn't want him. So why should he turn around and then go run to you? Why should he go and, and run to the same black women who never care about him, never wanted him, never looked his way? We got to stop just making it seem like, oh, black men just wake up one day and they work hard and get successful. And they just go straight to other race of women and not their own. Men have clearly stated that they would prefer their black women, but their black women didn't prefer them. So we got to stop making it seem like all black men just get successful and run somewhere else because that's just not the truth. And it's just a narrative they want to spend to not take any accountability for themselves. And even to this day, these all these women are still looking for that high school jock. You still looking for that 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 popular dude. You still looking for the dude that all the women want. Fast forward when you you know hitting the wall and you done ran out and you done played all you know spent all your twenties with Pookies and Ray Rays and had all the CC fun and did all that, gave them babies, all that, and you still single by yourself. Now you want the the stable guy, the guy who you never considered. Now you only want him because you need help and you need some stability in your life and you want him to provide that. You don't really want him. You still, you still would love the Pookie and the Ray Ray, but you know, he's, he, he's not stable. He's unstable. You can't, he's not trustworthy. You can't depend on him, but you, now you want the stable guy just because you need help. Child. He's an afterthought, but now he's like, nah, y'all did me dirty. Y'all didn't like me. I was just a nerd to you guys. I'm going over here where these women appreciate me for who I am and what I provide and what I am and what I do and what I contribute as a man. See, while a lot of our women, unfortunately, are focused on attraction levels and, and attractiveness without even knowing the person, you just looking at the physical outside. These other women are looking at what these men bring to the table, what they really offer, and they're taking them and they're getting them. And they're creating families with them while our women are still stuck over here 40, 50, 60 years old with BBLs, single by themselves, struggling, and still claiming they will not settle. No man wants to have to compete and beg a woman to want them and want to cooperate with them and want to be with them. Nobody wants to have to do that. You you need to you want somebody who who's wanting to be with you because they care about you and they love you and they want to actually be with you and build with you. Not somebody that you got to run behind and chase and do all these things because they really don't want you. They just like to chase. Who has time for that? I think it's important to, to find somebody who actually wants to be with you and not playing all these games because people don't have time for these games. You know, if either you want the person or you don't, it is what it is. A lot of these women think that stable men who don't have kids in their thirties is a red flag. Cause you have kids and you didn't, you know, you will never marry. It's a red flag for a man who's choosing to wait for his wife to have children. It's a whole lot that plays into the mentality of our women and why men are looking elsewhere. So baby, listen, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, comment, like, subscribe. If you haven't, Hit that notification bell, y'all know what it is. And definitely chime in. I want to hear your thoughts on this one. What do you think about what she had to say? I want to hear your thoughts. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.